training. We have some of our Peterbilt friends over here to go through um, our new Peterbilt truck. This is Seth, Van, and Cody. We are going to go over a tanker open truck with success leasing. I'm Van Gertner. I'm your on-site Peterbilt rep here at Prime. Today we're going to talk about the 2024 Peterbilt 579 Ultraloft. A few differences in this truck uh, versus our prior model. Uh, this one does have a new engine. It's a 21B model engine. Uh, one of the changes is the fuel filter assembly uh, is all mounted up on the engine now. We don't have the filter down here on the frame rail. It makes it a little easier for servicing. The filters come as a kit, so it's a little easier for service part, service locations to get the filters, the correct filters for these trucks. Uh, also, one of the big changes is the engine fan is no longer belt driven. It's uh, actually driven off of the crank. Uh, that's a gain in fuel mileage and performance on that. Uh, one of the other things now is that these trucks are standard with the front disc brakes. I don't know if you'll be able to see in here, but all of the trucks have disc brakes on the front. Which these have been really, 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 really good. Um, also, one of the standard packages now on these 2024 trucks is the Epic package, which is all of these aerodynamic pieces here, uh, down on the ground, closes out the wheel uh, fender area and the skirting on the bottom and cab closeouts all for aerodynamics. Same as the A-pillar fairings up here. Again, a game for aerodynamics. Uh, it also helps keep some of the rain from getting splashed up on the, on the mirrors, so I'm told, so that's kind of a new secondary feature. One of the other uh, aerodynamic features is the new trucks have a narrower hood. The slope is actually also lower by about two inches. This helps more with the airflow and the aerodynamics just for improved fuel economy. Another new feature is the chassis uh, fairing fold out. They just fold out where we used to uh, used to have to take some bolts and take them off and the, the fender's gonna get scratched. So it's a nice new feature that they just fold out. You got four hooks and they just oh, pop like right that. off. All right, so back here, one of the, the biggest differences we've changed to is they're no longer doing Holland fifth wheels, they're doing Fontaine fifth wheels. This truck's actually got a taller pedestal. It's set up for tankers, so generally the pedestal's a little shorter than this, uh, but the Fontaines have been, been a very solid fifth wheel on these trucks. All right, we hopped inside the 579 Ultraloft, and we're going to show you some of the features in the uh, bunk. So up top, you got room for, say, your uh, co-drivers or you're doing uh, training. There's a spot for a CPAP machine and plug-ins on both sides. Uh, we have a spot for a 22-inch TV uh, that has the plugs as well for your TV. Uh, right here is your cabinet for uh, storage, so that uh, be your wardrobe. Down here is a spot for a refrigerator. You can either get a... Uh, factory installed in refrigerator, or you can buy one from the company store here. The other side of the sleeper, you have a desk, so you can do any kind of trip planning or notes or work on your computer there. And then you got more storage and cabinets down here. Some other features we have is a spot and tie downs for a uh, microwave. Uh, and this also has some features and this is not from Peterbilt, but for your uh, Thermal King APU, and then some other controls in the back for the back of the sleeper. All right, another standard feature in the Peterbilt is uh, the, the high windows. You can also crank those out and roll out. We have every truck comes with a double bunk. Uh, so if you have a co-driver, this is where one of you will sleep. If not, you can use it as storage. So you got some storage back here, depending if you get a factory installed uh, inverter or you get one here from Prime will be depending on how much space you have down there. But there's an ample amount of storage and then you have doors on both sides on the outside to get things in and out of. So a couple of the interior options that are new on the 579s are, first thing is um, you do actually, when you start this truck, before you start it, you actually have to type in a four digit pin. Um, Prime sets that pin for their drivers. So whatever the four digit pin is, you will have to type that in before you can set the truck. Um, you'll actually scroll here with this scroll to set the pin. So it'll pop up a um, four numbers and you'll just kind of scroll to set the number and click it before you can start the truck. Some of the other options is um, our standard trucks are gonna come just with the 
um, armrest kind of in the center of the truck, not on the driver's door. You can um, upgrade that to where you have armrests on both sides of the seats. Another pretty um, big option that Peterbilt offers is they'll do a driver comfort package that'll actually raise um, the seat to make it a high back seat. It'll make it a leather seat. Um, that's kind of one of our creature comfort options that Peterbilt offers. Every truck comes with uh, Peterbilt Smart Nav. So in here, it's got digital controls. And set different uh, settings on there. Uh, another feature is the pull-out desk. So if you got a co-driver, they can do something right here as well. So there's a lot, of, lots of places for you to work inside the cab. Uh, another feature is the uh, fixed cup holders. We used to have ones that push out and they rattled a lot. So Peterbilt upgraded, and it's a it's a fixed feature. Oh yeah, one of the other features that's uh, on these 2024s is the light check feature. Now this is handy for doing your pre-trips because you can hit the button on the inside. If you did get the uh, keyless entry option, there's a button on the keyless entry option that you can push. And what it'll do is it'll cycle your lights like it's doing right now. So it did one of the headlights then the other, and it's doing the, the daytime running lamps. It'll do blinkers. And as you walk around the truck, it just continues this cycle. So now it's got the fog lights on. So with trailer hooked up, whatever, it will actually cycle all the lights on the truck and trailer while you're doing your pre-trip so that you can just walk around and look to see if you got any bulbs out, any lights out, that kind of thing.